Hi, I'm Stephen Plohr. I'm a student here at the Manchester Community College. I'm also one of the computer science tutors that are available to you. Today we're going to talk about how to center, justify, right justify, and left justify your text for your menu. But first, we're going to go over a couple different things in the environment that you're going to be coding in that you need to know first. First, we have our libraries, which is the using up here. such as this one. This is a system library. You, these four are automatically added in and they are necessary before you can do any of your programming. And close that. Then we have our namespace. This is your collection of your classes go into the namespace. This is where you're going to be doing all your programming within. Then we have our main our main is our entry point, our starting point for our program. Everything starts here and goes out to other classes. Right now we're going to just program inside the main. Later on we'll go into the classes and deal with those later. So the first line of code we're going to write is what is going to be our template line. We're going to use the console.write line to, to write out text to the console. If you notice here, there's a red underline underneath right line. That means there's an error there. So to change that error, all we have to do is change the L in line to uppercase. So we're going to put our cursor just before it, delete it, and make it an uppercase. All right. Next is our text. Inside our parentheses, we're going to put a quotation mark with all of our text, just like this. The lines here are the number, the characters here represent the different character, the length of characters you can use for the whole width of your console. You have 79 characters to work with. All right. If we were to run the program the way it is now, we're going to get what's called a flash, just like that. In order to be able to stop that, we need to add in a type of stopper. So just below below the console.write line, we're going to add in console.readkey. This is going to stop the program and make it wait for an input from the keyboard. As you notice, we have the two parentheses and our semicolon at the end is our punctuation that tells us that line of code is done. We're going to run the program again. As you can see, the program now stops. It stays running. Once we hit the enter key, it goes away. All right, now we're going to start adding in some other text into there to do our header and our menu. So just below the console.write line, we're just going to paste in four more of those lines. Then we're going to come right up here to the top one, and we're going to write in demonstration. This is going to be the name of your program. Every program is going to have a different name. Today we're just going to go with demonstration. Then you're going to type in by and your name. So we're going to put in my name there. Then all you're going to do is come right over here before demonstration, and you're going to add spaces to take up the space all the way over and line it up at the end. Then we're going to come down here, and we're going to delete the rest of the characters that we don't need. Now we're going to test that to make sure that it is lined up properly. So we're going to run the, run the program again. Good. As you can see here, we have demonstration all the way to the left and by Stephen Plourd all the way to the right, except there's still two more spaces there. We don't want those extra spaces. So we're going to go back in. We're going to close the program by hitting enter. Go back over here. We'll add one more space. Good. And run the program again just to do a, a second check. Excellent. Now we have demonstration by Stephen Plourd all the way to the right. There is one extra space. That's okay because if, if we go all the way to the end, it's going to create a second line underneath that, a blank line that we don't want. So let's go ahead and close that out. We'll add in the rest. So we're going to come right over here. 
right underneath demonstration, you're going to type in the class. And we're going to do class CIS 158. And then we're going to put in the date after that. We're going to do the same thing we did last time after we typed in the date and move it all the way over to the other side just by putting our cursor before the date and adding in our spaces to line it up. And then we're just going to go over here and delete our extra spaces. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do, now create our header. In order to separate the header from our menu, we're going to want a blank line. So all you have to do is we're going to come down to the next console.write line and just delete all the characters. And we can actually even get rid of our quotation marks. So we have nothing inside of our parentheses. Next thing, we're going to type in the menu, but we're going to want it center justified. So we're going to go ahead and type in menu right here. Go just before it. Oh. Add our spaces. And since we have 79 characters, which is just before 80, we know that we need to line it up with that 4. And then all we have to do again is just delete the re remaining characters we don't need. Run the program to do a test. And there we go. We have our header nice and clean, centered left and right justified. And then we have our menu title, which is centered onto the screen. That's all we are going to go over for today. The remaining stuff, the selections you're going to add in, you follow the same idea with the menu. If you have any questions, please feel free to add them to the discussion board or email one of the tutors or your professor with, their, with your school email.